Hello everyone. Welcome to Literary Animator, a place where you study, we animate. Today we will discuss line by line explanation of William Blake's poem The Lamb. The Lamb is a poem from William Blake's collection Songs of Innocence. The poem is written in simple language and it is meant to be understood by children. The poem consists of two stanzas, each with four lines. Little lamb who made thee, dost thou know who made thee? In the first two lines, the speaker of the poem is asking a lamb, a symbol of innocence, about its creator. Gave the life and bid the feed, by the stream and o'er the mead. In the next two lines, the speaker is suggesting that the Creator gave the lamb life and provided it with food to eat by the stream and in the meadow. Gave the clothing of the light, softest clothing, woolly, bright. In the these two lines, the speaker says that the Creator also gave the lamb soft and bright woolen clothing. Gave the such a tender voice. Making all the veils rejoice. In these lines, the narrator says that the Creator also gave the Lamb a tender voice that brings joy to the valleys. Let us analyze the first ten lines of the poem for a better understanding. In the first ten lines of the poem, the kid is talking to the Lamb. The poet pays tribute to Lord Christ in this poem who was innocent and pure like a kid and meek and mild like a lamb. The young child asks the lamb if it knows who made it, who gifted it with life and the ability to feed by the stream and across the meadow. The kid asks him whether the lamb knows who gave it the colorful and fluffy wool it wears, who gave it the beautiful voice that fills the valley with delight. The poem is a simple and innocent praise of the Creator and His creations. The poem also highlights the idea of the Creator giving life and providing for His creations, which is a common religious theme. The lamb is used as a symbol of innocence and purity, representing the idea that innocence can be found in the simple things in life. Little lamb, I'll tell thee. Little lamb, I'll tell thee. In this stanza, the speaker is addressing a lamb and saying I will answer the questions. In the second stanza, the kid begins to answer the questions. He is called by thy name, for he calls himself a lamb. In the above lines, the speaker is saying that the creator of the lamb is also called lamb indicating that the Creator has the same innocence and purity as the creature He made. He is meek and He is mild. He became a little child. In next two lines, the speaker describes the Creator as meek and mild and also as a child, further emphasizing the innocence and purity of both the Creator and the creature. I a child and thou lamb. We are called by his name. In this final line, the speaker suggests that both the speaker and the lamb are also innocent and pure, and that they are all connected through their shared innocence and the Creator's name. The poem suggests that the lamb is the symbol of God's creation and the innocence of the creature created by God. Let us analyze the last ten lines of the poem for a better understanding. The Lamb, Christ, and the Kid are all identified in the poem's second verse. Christ has another name, Lamb, since He is gentle and meek like a lamb. When Christ originally arrived on this world as the Son of God, He was also a child. As a result, the following lyrics are appropriate. He became a little child, I a child and thou a lamb, we are called by his name. In this poetry, the youngster speaks to the lamb as if it were another child who could answer to what is said. Because of the picture of Christ as a kid, the poem takes on a religious tone. 
The poem The Lamb is a pastoral poem. Blake's pastoral poem note is another symbol of joy and innocence. In the following ten lines of William Blake's poem The Lamb's second stanza, the kid answers the questions he asked to the lamb in the first stanza. Let us discuss the themes. Themes in the lamb include religion, innocence, and morality. Throughout the words, he or his speaker expresses gratitude to God and everything he represents. Everyone who sees or hears the lamb or Christ should be filled with joy. One of its most distinguishing characteristics is its innocence. Everyone should aim to be like the lamb. Thank you everyone. I hope you all liked my explanation. See you in next video.